So in some of the previous videos, I have been writing something like this, omega cross omega cross r equal to minus omega square r, okay? So, and you may be wondering as to, you know, where we got this from, right? It's actually fairly simple. So in a rigid body, okay, let's say we have, you know, two points A and B, all right? And that's your vector r, okay? And that can be written as r, let's say e r hat. So e r hat is a unit vector in this direction, okay? And omega is uh, theta dot k hat, right? So omega is theta dot k hat. So k hat is perpendicular to plane of this figure. And let's say this is how we are measuring theta, then we know e theta hat would be another unit vector perpendicular to er hat. I'll be pointing that way in the counterclockwise direction, right? So in case of a rigid body moving in a plane, it turns out that we can simplify this, which involves two cross products as something like this, where minus, we write minus omega square, and omega is just a, a number over here, times the position vector, okay? So this simplification can be achieved for rigid bodies moving in a plane, okay, in any given plane, in this case is x, y plane. This simplification cannot be done for rigid bodies moving in a three-dimensional space. So, so how does this come about? Let's do this. So omega is theta dot k hat cross, this is theta dot k hat, and r is some number times a unit vector along radial direction. So we can write this as equal to, what is k cross e r hat? This is theta dot r. k cross e r uh, would be equal to, e theta hat, right? So in this case, e r hat, e theta hat, and k hat are forming a right-handed quadrant system, right? So it's something like this. This is e r hat, this is e theta hat, and that's k hat. That's your right-hand system. So since we have to get k cross e r, so k cross e r that way, so it's pointing towards e theta hat, right? And then here we have theta dot k hat cross. So what is this? This is theta dot square r, and k cross e theta hat. Now, what is k cross e theta hat? That's minus e r hat, right? So this is minus theta dot square r e r hat, but r e r hat is same as the position vector r. So this can be written as minus theta dot square r, which is same as minus omega square r, right? So that's why we can write this. Now, the advantage of doing something like this is that this involves doing two cross part, which takes time. Uh, on the other hand, you can simply write this as minus omega square r. And this is the term that appears when you are uh, writing acceleration equation.